this is my afternoon. Rainy day in Spokane is what we're doing. Honey, I have extra butter movie popcorn in the back. Just come take a seat and we'll chill for a second. Hi, I'm Montana Dana and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, the weather sucks so I spend four days locked in my van, put on the bright side and make myself a whole new wardrobe. We find a pretty flower garden, almost get kicked out, and get back on the road. Subscribe for Monday through Friday videos. Good morning from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I have not brushed my teeth yet this morning, but finally hitting the road again. I'm heading to the Oregon coast and gonna see a bunch of fun stuff on the way. I had a much needed four days of binge watching Hulu and Netflix. I just need a little self-care, little regroup. We did the nails. We did the face masks. We cried a tear of regret into each pillow, and now we're on our way again. But one thing we do every morning is check out the view. We are in Coeur d'Alene. It's beautiful. Actually, it's really kind of nice today. It's cloudy, but there's no smoke. I drove all day yesterday and all night in a thunderstorm. So here's that footage. You good, Montana? Are you good? It's so windy tonight. It's insane. It's like raining, so windy, and the biggest lightning bolts I've ever seen in my life. Kind of scary, actually. Kind of creepy. I don't blame you, girl. I do not blame you. Well, I'm trying to turn into the right lane, but um, well, no, no, will not let me. Whoa, girl. Whoa. Mother Nature is menstruating. She's angry tonight. Get some Midol, girl. Calm down. I have extra chocolate in my armoire. Let's just chill and watch Bridget Jones' Diary and you can calm down for a sec. Jesus. Woo! Okay, 10 things I hate about you. I don't care what we watch. Just calm down for a GD second. Is it monsoon season? What is happening? Are you going through menopause, girl? You're having hot flashes. Honey, I have extra butter movie popcorn in the back. Just come take a seat and we'll chill for a second. Hot tamales, Laffy Taffy, what do you need? I got you. Jeez. The wind is Winona. I think the thunder should be Teresa. Teresa, come sit down, have a snack. Tell me your feelings, girl. Excuse me, Semi. Please do not push me into the center divide. Thank you. Love you, bye. Teresa, chill out. You don't have to scream at me. What in the shit is happening? I am like legally blind up in here. I seriously can't see the road. I don't know why. Hazards are going on. I can't see anything. These roads are like so windy too. I literally can't see anything. Is it smoke? Is there a fire up yonder? What is happening? What is happening? I literally can't see. Girl, take a nap, sleep it off. What in the hell? Are we like driving into a forest fire? Should we pull over? What is the deal? I can see about 10 feet in front of me. So that's fun. This is a good time. That's always a neat experience. Is this smoke or fog? I can't tell. It doesn't smell smoky. I have extra tampons, tampons, sport even. Like you can go to the Olympics with those tampons and, and not a dribbly pipply will come out. Can you just please give me some visible clearance for like five seconds? Thank you. Well, that was fun. Thanks, Teresa. When known as the wind, Teresa is the thunder. But what is smoke? If you made it this far in the video, name the smoke for me, please, down in the comments below. She is a smoky, sassy bitch. Where is that fire coming from? It must be like real close. Get me out of Montana. This is freaky, man. I wonder if there's a lightning strike over here recently, because that was really intense. Hello, darkness, my old friend. There were flash flood warnings earlier, so that's neat. Well, in good news, we get a free car wash tonight. So that's exciting. Jeez. Gonna put up the blackout curtains. I actually, I think it's gonna be kind of fun falling asleep to the sound of rain. So Mac is all clean. The skies are pretty clear. The smoke is cleared at least. Very happy about that. And I was just in a coffee shop this morning and this girl recognized me from last time I was in Coeur d'Alene. She was really sweet. She was telling me where to get local honey and all that, but I guess there's a park and flower garden in Spokane. So we're gonna go check that out today on our way through. So let's put on our captain hats and hit the road. But first let's brush the teeth. Yes, let's do that. I almost went under the men's bathroom because in every other cracker barrel, the women's bathroom's on that side. That was embarrassing. Just in case you didn't learn how to wash your hands when you were two years old, here you go. 
Here's some directions. In case you forgot how to wash your hands. There you go. There it is. You're welcome. Just out here saving lives. All right, we are on our way. We have to make a little pit stop though before we go to the flower garden. Obviously, we're going to Trader Joe's. Hallelujah. And amen. Oh my gosh, look how full this fridge is. Got all the goods for the next few days. Lots of salads, lots of healthy pre-made foods. Chicken salad, egg salad, got yogurt and berries and all that good stuff. I'm eating this right now because it's not fitting in the fridge. Gonna add a little cotto. And then bananas, you have to eat right away. So I'll have one right now. I don't know, do we put bananas in the fridge? I don't really think you put bananas in the fridge. Maybe we can put it in the back with all the snacks. It actually stays pretty cool in the armoire, so maybe we'll give that a go. I told the girl in there I was traveling and she hooked me up with all the plastic forks and spoons. Yes, hello. This thing is so incredibly broken, but we're doing our best. We've got our emergency oats for when you need a little snack, a little pick-me-up. Just pour in some hot water, super easy peasy. My two favorite grain-free granolas, some of you were asking about this, Trader Joe's. I love the ones with the coconut clusters. So if you don't like coconut, you're not gonna like this. Also sometimes Target carries a good and gather. Grain-free granola. This also has coconut. It's quite delicious. I just combine these two because they're equally delicious. Mm -hmm. I actually think I like this one even better, but not every Target carries it, so. Granola. Bam. Not as good granola. Bam. Goes right back in there like so. Extra granola. I eat it every day. It's a mess. Look at this thing. It is just... See the friendly little mother's touch to get it back in there. Perfect. Oh, shoot. I always put my dark chocolate down here because it stays pretty cool in the store. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. Okay. There we go. I also got some matcha tea powder. This little thing full of instant coffee because it's just super easy to boil water. And dump one of those in there. So, little afternoon pick-me-ups. Quite nice, really. I'm pretty sure we're ready to nature for the next couple days. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, not off-grid, but I'm not going to worry about uploading videos for a couple days. Oops, hello. Sorry, baby. Ugh. Why won't you go in? Here, you can go in this drawer. This is such a fucking struggle, always. Go in. There we go, there, there. All right. What was I saying? Bought my almonds. You need to go in here. I'm gonna go explore for a couple days and then I'm gonna come back and upload a bunch of videos at once. So we're gonna try that strategy for a while. Since I got off my upload schedule, this is a good time to kind of, I don't know, reset, try things differently. Cause the thing that was bothering me the most about van life so far was that I couldn't actually adventure cause I felt like I was just trying to find Starbucks and internet all the time. So we're gonna go have a few days of adventure and then a day or two of uploads. We'll try that and see how we do. What do we do with you, banana? What do we do? You can go right in there. I'm excited to go to this park though. Let's check out the botanical gardens. We got our Waldorf salad because we fancy AF. I'm just gonna eat this with a spoon, I guess. Avocados and van life do not go hand in hand when you do not have plumbing. But you're so yummy, so I'm going to eat you. Actually turned into a very beautiful day. Quite happy about it. It was so smoky yesterday. You could not see any blue in the sky. But would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Um, lilac gardens? Yes, please. I guess this is a two lane street. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna park it right here and then walk. This doesn't really look like a lilac garden, but there's a secret little pathway here. We're going to follow it. I mean, it can't be ugly, right? We're just gonna browse around, peruse the nature, get some steps in. Who are you? Is that a choke cherry? Anybody know? Oh, there's some berries up there too. I just wanna show off my pretty manicure. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my gosh, look over there. Oh, what's up here? This looks fun. I see flowers. I see flowers that way. Look at those. Oh, look at those. Look at these cool nails though. How cute. You serious? I'm serious. Oh, I see the flowers. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Okay. I guess I could have gone around that, that's fine. Ooh, look at all those flowers. Oh my God, this is heaven. Is this real life? Oh my God, baby birds, baby birds. <laughs> I 
I'm dying. What are those? Are those quail or something? Dude, I love your bangs. What hairdresser do you go to? Give me her number. <laughs> oh my god, the little babies are so cute. Are we allowed to walk on this path? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't trying to get your babies. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I can't with the cuteness. Okay, I don't want to traumatize any baby birds. But... Oh my god. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm like chasing them around the flowers. Come back, baby quail. I hear them rustling around over there. Pretty much in heaven right now. Yeah, pretty much. I have to show you my favorite flowers. Check these out. Look at these. Are you even seeing this? Are you seeing this right now? Can this just be my new backyard? I think I'm gonna do this in my backyard one day. I'm gonna figure out what all these flowers are and just scatter seeds all over my backyard. Don't be gross, Dana. This is a family channel. Oh, you didn't get the memo? It is not a family channel. Yes, it is definitely not. So pretty though. This is what I love about life on the road. I had no idea I was coming here today. I didn't even know this existed. But I just told the girl at the coffee shop which direction I was going and she's like, oh, you have to go to the botanical gardens. So here we are. Here we are. I'm dressed like a frump a lump a ding dong because I didn't expect to be wanting to take any Instagram photos, but I might run back to the car and get an outfit and come back and take a few photos because it's actually really pretty here. So this is what my backyard's gonna look like someday, okay? Let's mark this in our memory. I love flowers so much. What is it that I love? Oh, let me tell you. I love flowers. 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 Sad flowers. Happy flowers. Fleurs. Be infested flowers. 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 More flowers. That guy just laughed at me because I was saying flowers over and over. I know it's kind of embarrassing, but if you can make someone laugh, then that's a good day, right? Even if it's at you and not with you. Sweet. Poofy flowers. Spiky flowers. More poofy flowers. Caucasian flowers. Pretty flowers. Sad flowers. 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 Pretty flowers. Ugly flowers. Pretty flowers next to ugly flowers. Butter flowers. Get it. Get that pollen queen. Get it. Get it. She thirsty. Flower. Flowers. Flower. Berries. Don't eat them. They'll poison that. Holy F. That is a lot of flowers. 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 More flowers. 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 More flowers. Pink flower. Yellow flower. Red flower. Orange flower. Fuchsia flower. Flowers. 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 Naughty flowers. 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 So it says no parking, but I think I can park Mac right there and get a quick door swipe of this. How cute is that be? We're going to be a little quick and sneaky about it, but I think we can do it. <laughs> Mission flower door swipe. Commit. <laughs> find parking and take some photos or do we go I don't know do we need an Instagram photo here I'm not feeling that cute these days I don't know I just been sitting around being a slob the last week so maybe this is exactly what I need to get back on the health train however we might as well take a couple photos because when in Rome I regret it a couple times when I haven't taken photos or door swipes like Monument Valley I was like oh I'll be back I'll get one then but it's not 100% that we're going back anywhere when I'm at the location I promised myself I just take the photo when in Rome you know Ooh, it's so pretty I love van life van life is so fun it's raining which I'm not mad because like maybe the next few days will be nice and clear and not smoky but for the ground mother nature such a jerk sometimes I got like 1.5 Instagram photos but Max getting another shower so hashtag silver lining just have a little snack trying to figure out what to do with my life cucumbers carrots and hummus I love Trader Joe's trying to figure out what to do with my life I really want to go to the gym, so maybe we drive to Planet Fitness. 
let's do that okay so planet fitness is right over there and there's a really yummy coffee shop right over here which do i choose well i just ate my weight in carrots and hummus so i need a second to digest so i'm gonna go sit in the back and watch some trash television and finish a crochet project i've been working on i'll show it to you all right here's my rainy afternoon setup my computer is going up here i think i'm close enough to the coffee shop where i can use their internet otherwise we'll just hotspot from my phone but check this out this is what i've been doing the last four days watching absolute trash television and making all sorts of different crop tops but when i'm almost finished with one i want to start a new one i just i don't think i know how to finish them this one i kind of messed up but it's still maybe usable kind of cute right this color so pretty if it doesn't fit right i'll just pull the string out and redo this is the start of a shirt this wraps around the waist and the top is going to kind of look like this one and this one is almost done i basically have just been following patterns from youtube and then going rogue like this i just did on my own and on the pattern on youtube it said this was a size small which is usually what i wear were those doll clothes sizes because this is not going to cover the nipples i don't think i mean barely so i might add a little extra fabric maybe i'll connect it to here and have it go up the side i think that'll be cute we'll try it i have to finish one of these today though i've started one two three four five different projects and have yet to finish one i think this one's gonna be cute though right am i right it's cute definitely need to be going to planet fitness if we're going to fit into these anytime soon i'm gonna start making cable knit sweaters that's what i'm gonna do got my coffee got my crochet uh-oh i don't know if we have enough jackery juice to uh power my computer we're on eight percent but this is my afternoon. Rainy day in Spokane is what we're doing. Well, it's finished. Not exactly symmetrical, but it's finished. I just wanted to add a little bit of room for the cha-chas on the side. So yeah, that's my shirt. Let's go work out. Zero percent of me wants to go to the gym right now. Zero percent. I'm not doing this for me right now. I'm doing this for future Dana. You are very welcome. We were cruising, cruising for a long time cruising for a few months actually. And they just did a little tilt this way. And then after a few weeks, now we're down here with our body goals. So today is day one, just making a little shift, climbing back up the mountain, you know how it goes. Why can't going to the gym be like a degree? Like you go for four years and then you have it, you have it. You don't have to put any more work in, you just got it. I think we're gonna do 30 minutes on the stair climber today and maybe some weights as well, we'll see. Don't wanna push too hard my first day back in the gym, you know, it's been a few weeks. It's always a rough two weeks getting back into the gym. But once you just go, get in the habit, you start like, blah, 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 I don't want to do that. <sighs> My eyelash is stuck. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. It's such a hassle in the van. I don't know if it's the cloudy skies, Aunt Flo's visiting too. That's, I know I feel like working out. When Aunt Flo's here, I just want to sit around and visit and eat snacks and watch Shet TV. Future Dana, future Dana. Maybe I need something to do while I'm on the stair climber. I wish I could watch an episode of something. That's what I used to do when I'd work out in my dad's basement. I'd watch an episode of something and do the elliptical machine so I could kind of be lazy and work out at the same time. We're going, we're not procrastinating any longer, but it is such a big to do in the van. I have to go get my shoes on. And then afterwards I have to get out my towel, I have to get out my wash stuff. But we do want to be showered and ready for the road. So I want to work out tonight, I want to work out tomorrow morning, and then we'll go on some adventures. God willing, the weather holds. Okay, so I needed that way more than I thought I did. I was in there for like an hour and a half. Now it's time to shower. I don't know about this area. It's not giving me the friendliest vibes, but it's all good. It's about 8.30. I'm still in the Planet Fitness parking lot and just trying to figure out what I'm doing with the rest of the night. Basically, I'm just making my way toward the Oregon coast. So I don't know if we drive for a little while tonight. I could drive for a few hours and find parking along the way. Um... <laughs> Hello. There's this lavender farm I want to go to tomorrow on the way to Portland and then want to spend a few days actually in Portland. So I don't know if I park it tonight. It is raining, bad weather, but my Jackery is on 2%. So I think I need to drive to charge it or go find a coffee shop to charge it. Either way, just bought $110 worth of groceries. I need a charge Jackery. How cute is this going to look though? Look at this color. Who is she? I'm going to have to do a few more workouts before I can wear anything in the crop top category. But I feel so good after doing that. It's always, always, I've said this a million times, but it's always the times I really, really 
really don't feel like going to the gym that that I need to the most so I'm gonna go fix my hair situation and I think we're gonna get on the road I'm gonna navigate myself to that lavender farm see if I can find a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart along the way this has been a fun conversation I'm hungry and I'm gonna go now I'm just gonna eat a whole container of egg salad with a fork and think about my life decisions I don't know where we're going. I just know we're driving. I don't necessarily want to drive in the weather. I also don't want to stay in Spokane, Washington. We had a fun little adventure today, but I'm ready. I'm ready to head west, so let's go. Okay, before I leave, the two things I have to have when I go on a road trip, I have to have spits. I'm gonna try the dill pickle ones. I don't know. This may be a poor choice, but I have like nine bags of spits in the back. Ranch flavor, barbecue, I have them all. And then I always get a hot water and just make myself a tea with some of my fancy local honey and such. And then I put cream in it and it's just delightful while I'm driving. It just keeps me from eating junk because I always want to eat junk while I'm driving. So spits they take a while to you know grind them up and spit out the shell and then the tea is just I like doing this motion while I'm driving I don't know it keeps me entertained we can do our cherry blossom tea we have a little jasmine dragon pearl tea I think I'm gonna go one of each oh my god is she crazy I'm gonna put these together see what we get did my life just change I think that's gonna be beautiful. Come on. Jasmine tea with cherry blossom. Yes, please. I always talk like Kip from Napoleon Dynamite and Moira from Schitt's Creek. And now I feel like it's just become one character. It's just, it's just a whole situation. Okay, so I found a Walmart along the way. It's about two and a half hours away out of my four and a half hour drive. So I'll get in around 11 p.m. That's about perfect. Then I have less driving tomorrow and more enjoying. Got our jasmine and our cherry blossom and my local California lemon honey. This is the best stuff ever. It is delightful. If you guys can find yourself some, get yourself some. It tastes like frosting and it's really good in tea. Sometimes I just eat it by the spoonful. Whoops. Oh, all right, got my beverage bar, got my spits. Let's hit the road. Just kidding, we didn't hit the road yet. By the way, the guy in the gas station asked where I was going and I told him none of your business, obviously. No, I told him I was going to the Oregon coast and he recommended we go to Seaside. Should we go to Seaside, Oregon, guys? Maybe we'll go to Seaside. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little pin on the map, see if we make it there. Okay, so we are at Walmart and I just went to the other Walmart, super sketchy. Came to this Walmart, it was five miles away. I am not really feeling it. I feel a little more comfortable if there are more van people here, but there's only a couple of people. I don't know what this town is. I don't even know where we're at. We're just like halfway between Spokane and Hood River. Yeah, I'm not feeling you, Walmart. I'm not feeling you. I just stopped to go to the bathroom at a gas station and it was just like Sketchville. Sketchville, USA. Okay, so we're pulling off the side of the road. One, I'm gonna need gas. And then two, oh, there's some sprinter vans. I feel like this is a good place to pull over and sleep. Little Love's gas station. My brother very specifically warned me not to park next to semis because they will slash my tires. Is that a little dramatic? Maybe, but I mean, he was a trucker for a while, so I'll take his word for it. So they look pretty happy over there. I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna go park next to this bus. Sounds groovy. It's on a little bit of a slant, but you know what? I'm freaking tired, it's time to go to sleep. All right, well, we are parked at quite an angle. I wish I had a marble in here so I could show you the angle at which we are parked. I'm just gonna have to sleep with my head down that direction. And all the blood in my body is gonna rush to my feet. I am so tired though, let's see. It's 1.15 a.m. That specific time, I'm kind of still on Mountain Standard Time, so it's actually 2.15 in the morning, so it is bedtime. I had to try on my shirt. I think it's cute. Covers the boob for the most part, right? Little side boob never hurt anybody. I was so excited about loves for a second because I thought it was free Wi-Fi but I have three bars, so I'm probably just gonna hot spot. I'm gonna watch a show for probably three minutes and fall asleep. I love this little crop top, it's so cute. I'm gonna make one in every color. I actually like the detailing that 
happened down the sides. Maybe I'll perfect it and then I'll make some for my Etsy page. I have to practice a few more times. I have to make sure I get all the stitches exact. So I just kind of wung it. I winged it on this one. So, but you've made it this far in the video, write flowers down in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love to share it with your friends, see you tomorrow.